A new board at Bahamas Power and Light. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis, and this is The Bahamas Tonight. Teamwork is one of the things Public Works Minister the Honorable Desmond Bannister told the new board at Bahamas Power and Light he expects of them. On Monday, the minister met with the new board at BPL, outlining his expectations and pressing issues that they will be called upon to address. While members did not speak during the press conference, they were praised of BPL's operations. Jiminy Swain reports. Days after its official appointment, the new board at Bahamas Power and Light Company learned exactly what will be expected of them and their area of purview from the Minister of Public Works, the Honorable Desmond Bannister. The appointment of the seven-member board led by Chair Dr. Donovan Moxie and Deputy Chair Stephen Holowesco were constituted after the last board was asked to resign with the minister citing it to be locking horns on critical issues. Minister Bannister told the new board their role is to implement policy and not to manage at the electricity company. The board is not to delve in the minutiae of operations. We have a CEO, Mr. Hasty, who is highly accomplished. He is going to report to you, and a number of other people report to you. If they're not performing in a satisfactory manner, then there are things that you can do. But you are not as a board to seek to come into BPL and run the day-to-day -day operations. Those matters, he said, ought to be left to the portfolio and job description of CEO Whitney Hasty. Minister Bannister also informed the board of his expectation as it relates to the agreement signed several months ago with Shell North America for a new plant and rate bonds. The government of the Bahamas has determined that BPL BEC will enter an agreement with Shell North America. That is not something that you can change. That is a cabinet decision. Your job now is to seek as quickly as possible to enter in a into a memorandum of understanding with Shell. We have rate reduction bond legislation and we are going to shortly appoint directors. It's going to be important for you as a board to be able to move ahead with the rate reduction board. The minister noted that the company is almost a month behind on a MOU, but Bannister told the board that there are other focuses and relationships it must give attention to, such as with the union and with the utility regulator. You have union leaders who are going to be prepared to work with you. It's important to be able to sit down and talk with them. They represent a group of workers of this company who are valued. When you read the Electricity Act, you're going to find that you're going to say, oh, geez, I can't do anything without Urka. The Act is set up in such a way that you are going to be accountable to Urka before you could do almost anything. With immense challenges with generation as well as with transmission and distribution, the Public Works Minister advised the board that the Bahamian people are also expecting movement when it comes to development of renewable energy and that nothing ought to hold the board back when it comes to that. You will have several proposals that are before you of some wonderfully creative ideas that Bahamians have for renewable energy throughout the family islands. It's going to be important for you to look at those. <coughs> it's going to be important for us to be able to implement them. You have some entities uh, throughout the country that are interested in solar energy. Now, no members of the board addressed the media at that time. However, the minister urged members of the board to continue to work together and address a number of outstanding challenges that are before them. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News.